Hey everyone, welcome to Coffee and Crafting with Lori. If you are new to my channel, thank you for finding me. And if you are returning, it's great to see you again. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you will take a moment and click that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you like this video, remember to give thumbs up by clicking the like button as this really helps my channel to continue to grow and be recognized. Today I have seven sweet unique tiered tray DIYs. I've stepped out of my comfort zone of making rustic farmhouse DIYs and stepped into the pastel spring colors mostly from my three-year-old granddaughter Alice who loves pink and purple. This one is for you. So grab a coffee or your favorite drink and let's start. For this DIY, I have a package of bunnies from my Dollarama for $1.25. I'm going to paint the bunnies using the Home Decor white chalk paint. Look at the beautiful stars, I want to drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. I have a pretty purple pinkish three ply napkin that I purchased as a package for $1.25 from my Dollarama. I'm going to remove two of the plies from the napkin. I'll give the bunnies a good coat of Mod Podge, then place a napkin on top. When I'm out, so try. I'll then give the bunnies another coat of Mod Podge. Before they dry, I do want to remove the extra napkin from the bunnies. I'll do that by pushing the napkin in a downward motion away from the bunny, if that makes sense. Next, I'll take a piece of sanding paper and sand the excess napkin from the bunnies. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'll use my brush from the Dollar Tree and dry brush some antique wax on the edges of the bunnies to cover up any of the white chalk paint and also along the top edges of the bunnies so I can still give it a little rustic charm. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. I have a pom pom garland I bought at my Dollarama for $1.25, and this is perfect to use for my bunny tails. I'll cut five pom poms and glue them onto the bunnies. Think and break me. I have a package of 260 wood beads from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. There are five colors and I will be using the purple beads for this DIY. I will also be using the twine from the Dollar Tree that was $1.25. I'll start by stringing five purple beads, then a bunny. Then I'll add another three purple beads and another bunny. I'll continue this pattern until the last bunny is on the twine and I'll end the garland with five more purple beads. This bunny garland is definitely unique and looks really cute as a trim on the top layer of my tear tray. The estimated cost for this DIY was around $1.40 in supplies to make. For this DIY, I have a crate from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I had originally painted it for a different DIY and decided to trash that one. I'm going to paint around the edges with the lilac acrylic paint from Folk Art. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'll put Mod Podge on the top and the front of the crate. And put a piece of crafting paper from a package I bought from the Dollarama for $1.25 on the top and down the front of the crate. I'll add a piece of crafting paper on each end of the crate and trim off any excess crafting paper. I'll use my knife to cut along the lines of the crate and a ruler to help guide on the sides of the crate so the lines are the same. I'll do this a couple of times so it will start to look like a stack of books. I'm going to try the black vinyl and transfer paper from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 each. This will be the first time using this kind of vinyl on my Cricut machine. I made the words April showers bring May flowers for the book stack. The Dollar Tree vinyl wasn't too difficult to work with. The quality is definitely thinner and different from the Cricut vinyl. I did purchase a few different colors of vinyl for other projects I will be doing. And for the price, you really can't go wrong. I'm going to use a thin brush to dry brush my antique wax in the creases to bring out each book. Then I use my sanding block and sand the entire book stack. I purchased on clearance a package of paper flowers for $3 at Michael's and I'll glue four of the flowers on top of the book stack. I love how this DIY turned out. The colors are definitely out of my comfort zone and also the style, but I love the cuteness and the thought that my flowers in my garden will be growing soon. The estimated cost for this DIY was $3.35 in supplies to make. For this DIY, I have a package of four big carrots for $1.75 from Dollarama. I will use my sanding block to sand as much of the glitter off of the carrots. I'll paint two of the carrots with the lilac acrylic paint and the other two carrots with the baby pink acrylic paint, both from Folk Art. And 
to finish this DIY, I'll bundle the carrots together and wrap ribbon around them. I'll glue a simple bow on the ribbon, then adding a paper flower in the center of the bow. These bundle carrots turned out so pretty with the pastel colors, and I'm definitely out of my comfort zone with the colors, but at the end, they look adorable on my tear tray. The estimated cost for this DIY was $2.28 in supplies to make. For this DIY, I have a ceramic bunny from my crafting stash that I bought last year from the Dollarama. I think I paid $1.25 for it. I will also fix the broken ear on the bunny. I'm going to paint the bunny with the baby pink acrylic paint and then glue the ear back onto the bunny. And to finish this DIY, I'll add a bow to the bunny's ear to cover up the glue. And that is it. I kept this bunny very simple and I think it's sweet as is. The estimated cost to make over this bunny was around $1.35 in supplies. For this DIY, I have three medium-sized eggs from my crafting stash from last year. I paid $1.50 for a package of four. For the first egg, I'll be using the Waverly chalk paint in sage. I'll paint half of the egg and place the egg in the egg box to dry before painting the bottom. For the second egg, I'll paint it using the baby pink acrylic paint. And for the third egg, I'll be using the lilac acrylic paint, both from Folk Art. I will also give the eggs a second coat of paint, but I'm not going to show you that part of the video. I'll take away the suffering of watching me painting these eggs. While the eggs are drying, I'm going to take a small crate from the Dollar Tree that was $1.25 and I'll paint it with the home decor white chalk paint. After the crate dries, I will add some green moss that I bought from my Dollarama for $1.50. Next, I'll take the sage egg and wrap the Dollar Tree twine around the egg several times, then gluing a paper flower in the middle of the twine. Then I'll place the egg in the crate. I'm going to wrap the purple ribbon around the baby pink egg twice. I'll glue a wooden button in the middle of the ribbon and use the baby pink acrylic paint to paint the button. The lilac egg will stay the same. The estimated cost for this DIY was $2.90 for supplies to make. For this DIY, I'm using one tin bucket and one wooden bunny from packages I purchased at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 each. I'm going to brush lots of Mod Podge onto the bunny and a piece of leftover crafting paper from the book stack DIY. I'll wrap my fingers along the edges of the crafting paper to bring out the bunny's image. And then, using my knife, I'll outline the bunny to remove the excess crafting paper. I'm going to add some green moss to my small bucket with some pink and purple flowers and a few greenery pieces in behind the flowers. 
Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please take a moment and click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified when I upload any new videos. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up by clicking the like button. This helps my channel to continue to grow and be recognized. And let me know in the comments which DIY you like the most. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks everyone. I'm going to sand the bunny to remove any excess paper. Oh, I know that you feel it too. I'll glue the bunny to a stick and place it in the bucket of flowers. This DIY is cute, simple, and was easy to make. The estimated cost for this DIY was around $1 in supplies. For this DIY, I have a small bird cage I got at the thrift store in a bag for $2.99. There were four items in the bag. The only thing I will be doing is adding some green moss to the bottom of the cage and three small pink eggs with two pink flowers. And that is it. Simple, easy, and it looks cute. The estimated cost for this makeover DIY was around $1.30. I hope I've inspired you today with some new fresh ideas on creating unique decor for your spring and Easter tear trays. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in my next video. So until then, have a beautiful day and bye for now. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you Deep connection